Okay guys, um, I feel so awkward every time I try and record in my bedroom at my apartment, but whatever. Um, it's Megan and I am doing my, uh, what month is it? <laughs> November Ipsy unbagging. Um, I got impatient again and looked in the bag to see what I was getting because I was curious and I gotta stop doing that because it ruins the surprise. Um, but here we are with this one. Uh, and this is actually my first Ipsy unbagging that is happening in my apartment. The other one that I got uh, while living here, I <laughs> opened um, at home because I was like on my way home when I picked it out of the mail and didn't feel like, you know, coming back up here. So I think, oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, I think everything is in the bag with little, oh, I guess not. Okay, so, first off, the first two things in the bag, uh, or are not actually in the bag, uh, they're face masks, which I love that when you get face masks through Ipsy, they give you two and not just one, so it's kind of like you're getting an extra item. Um, but this one is called Up in the Clouds. It's a sheet mask, which I love sheet masks because they're so clean and it's so easy to clean up after doing um and then this other one is called glam and glow and it's also a sheet mask and this one is supposed to be radiance boosting even skin tone and energizing and i also didn't look at the first one what it's supposed to do this one is supposed to intensely hydrate rejuvenate plump and nourish so that's cool exciting um i don't no, oh, they both say that they are not tested on animals, so that's good. I'm so bad at recording in my bedroom here because I'm awkward, and I'm pretty sure if any of my roommates are home, they can hear me. Um, but anyways, let's get into the bag, which is really cute and blue. I don't know if you can see from here. I'm sitting in my bed, and I should have zoomed in a little bit, but I didn't want to, like, do anything bad to the quality of the video, so... Uh, whatever. Um, here's a little card. It, oh, it looks like a little text thing. It's about Friendsgiving. That's cute. I never really read these. <laughs> I should, but I don't. Okay, so the first thing to pull out is it looks like an eye. It's a. It's definitely an eyeliner. It's brown though. I was thinking maybe it would be black, but not a huge fan of brown eyeliner, but I'm sure I'll figure out something to do with it. I don't know if it's tested on animals or not. It's by lock color um a locket waterproof pencil eyeliner so that's cool but i don't really swim in my makeup anyways um i guess i can swatch it on my hand it's pretty smooth oh it's metallic okay that's interesting yes but i don't know if you can see from there um it's probably kind of far away but it looks okay but i don't know if i'll even use this because not a huge fan of eyeliner lately. I mean, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of makeup lately. I'm just wearing eyebrows today and feel really weird recording without my hair. Like, uh, it's such a security blanket that's just gone now. Okay, so the next thing is a little box. I don't know what this is. It's called uh, Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics uh, Cos Cosmic Light Multifunctional Pigments. That's interesting. I don't remember this. It's cruelty free, so this one's not tested on animals. It's also vegan, so that's lovely. Love when packaging says that. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, I remember this. I just didn't think it was gonna have a packaging. That's really cute. It's uh, blue, which I don't usually use blue eyeshadow, but I'm sure I can find a use for it. Um, I kind of want to swatch it, but also kind of terrified too, because, you know, oh god, am I going to be able to swatch it? Possibly. If I can get this thing off. Here we go. I can hear my roommates, and I'm just sitting in here talking to myself. They probably think I'm crazy. Okay, I just almost got blue pigment everywhere. So I was trying to pull the sticker off and then the little grate thing came out. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Okay, we're gonna close this because I got it all over my fingers. And I 
don't really want blue stuff all over my bed where my sheets are blue but like I got it all over my finger already so maybe I'll swatch no I can't it's not enough to swatch um, so I'm gonna have to open it again <laughs> But it's so far it looks really pretty and iridescent. Um, here, let's try it this way. It looks more like a glitter, to be honest. It's not super pigmented, but that's okay because blue eyeshadows can be easily overdone. So I'd use this as maybe like an inner corner highlight or something or put it on top of a base. I think that'd be really cute. And now I have blue stuff all over my fingers. So that's wonderful. It feels so awkward. I can just, I can hear people and I know they can hear me. Okay, this is a Ciate London Wonderland Mascara. I'm not gonna swatch this because I don't feel like taking off mascara but I will let you know how this does. It's in the shade Black Magic, and I don't know if Ciate has tested on animals. Nope, it says cruelty-free. That makes me so happy. I've gotten so many cruelty-free things in this so far. Well, at least three. <laughs> and then the last thing in the bag is something that looks like a crayon, and this one, is it, is it also cruelty-free? Please tell me it is. It does not say which means it's probably not, but it's, uh, I think it's a lip, it's a lip pencil, and it's matte, and it's by Eddie Funkhouse, uh, Twisted Kisses, I don't, I'm not sure what part of the brand that is, but, um, it's in the shade Kiss Me Twice, which is cute, um, I'll swatch this, I'm not gonna put it on my lips, because, uh, my lips are chapped right now, and I hate lipstick, but, down to try new things, sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Let's see, can I get this open? Looks like the answer to that is no. <laughs> I'm out of it. I just wrote an essay today and I'm tired. I think that when I, no, I thought it left like a weird residue, but, oh, that's weird. The container's like matte. Was not expecting that. That's, that's a strange feeling. Okay, so let's swatch this bad boy. Ooh, it's really pretty. Ooh, and it smells really good. It's like a nude color. I really like that actually. It's like decently pigmented. I think I'm actually really gonna like that. That's a color I could definitely wear like on a daily basis. I don't know if I can like push it up or we'll see, we'll figure that out. But I'm nervous to close this because now I feel like I pushed it out a little bit and it's gonna get ruined. But yeah, that is my um, November Ipsy bag. So that's exciting. Um, this is actually the first bag I didn't get a brush in, which is disappointing, but also I've gotten like, when was it, did I start doing Ipsy? Like, I don't know how many bags I've done, but like, I've gotten so many uh, brushes that I can't really be disappointed if I don't get any more for a while. But the ones that I have gotten I do like, except for one that shed a lot, and I think it was the one that I got in my last one, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it was the last one. Possibly. But I feel really awkward talking to a camera in my bedroom alone when I can hear people out in the hallway or like just in general existing and I'm very awkward. So I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed this Ipsy unbagging, please leave the video a big thumbs up because I, I've, I've been getting more views lately but it's because I uploaded a video of me shaving my head and my Ipsy videos don't do as well but the other videos have been doing great. So if you're here from one of those, hello. Uh, but if you're not and you're just somebody watching my video, hi, I love you and I'm glad you watched my video, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this here because I'm being awkward. But if you're new here, you should subscribe because why not? I want to hit 500 subscribers, but I know that's unrealistic and I don't upload consistently, but whatever, let's try and hit my goal. So I will see you guys in my next video whenever that may be. So yeah.